Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to call the latest Christian Fathers we are, just like what you are seeing right now. And before we proceed, I would like to have a like from you for this video. And if you are new to my channel, please look down below the video, you see a subscribe button, you hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to all so as to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Let's now proceed to work. Now by knowing the measurement of the wear, the length of this wear is 32 inches. The shoulder is 19 inches. The sleeve length is 10 inches. The chest is 44 inches. The tummy is 42.5 inches. While the round sleeve is 14 inches. We commence with the drafting. After the drafting, we will not cut out the rear. The length, the first thing is the length. When we start from here, we measure from the point here and we take it. We are talking about 32 inches. This is 32 inches here. We add 5 inches to E. If we add 5 inches to 32, it will give us 37 inches. So we can confirm by counting it. This is 1. 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have that, that 7 inches here. And uh, we move our tape forward and we also mark that 7 inches. So we get our measuring stick and we will draw a line. We draw a line to get a Um, actually, what we are doing today, we are cutting the letters Christian Father wear and the sewing. That is what we are considering today. Cutting and sewing of the letters Christian Father's wear. So I'm going to continue by cutting here off. I cut it out. So, and then. Uh, as I've done this, the next thing I'm going to do is to measure out the chest area. I measure it out. And we say that the chest is 44 inches. And if we divide 44 inches by 4, why do we divide it by 4? This is one so and uh, three four so the piece as you fold it in this way it will have four four mounts so that is why we are dividing by four so for four divide by four we give us give us 11 inches so we will mark 11 this is 11 inches we mark 11 inches we add one inch for the same allowance or sewing allowance so what we the gap which we have between here to here and between here to here is an awful what we are going to do now is i'm going to cut out i'm going to cut out this place and we start here to cut The next thing I will do is to pick out this fabric. The is the wrong side or the back the fabric give a chalk and open this also at the side of the 
So I will fold with the other of the fabric. I'm folding this way. This is the wrong side and this is the right side of the fabric. And I also fold this one this way. This is the this is the wrong side and this is the right side. I will pick the second one and place it on top of the other one, which is the second. The, place it on top of each other. So what I will do now is I will. So I will give the mark of shoulder slope. I'm making the shoulder slope 2.5 inches. These 2.5 inches, I will use my rule or measuring stick. I will draw a line for the shoulder slope. Then I will cut it out. What the next thing I'm going to do is that I will push this down, downward, push it downward, giving a space of about two and a half inches upward, two and a half inches upward. So this is going to be the front of the Christian Fathers. We are quite in the back of the Christian Fathers. So uh, you can see this is 2.5 here. 2.5 here and at each point it is giving me 2.5 inches so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to mark the the neck of the Seneca or the Christian father we are the neck of the Christian father we are I'm going to mark it out we say that the shoulder is the shoulder is 19 inches let me mark the shoulder first 19 divided by 2 will give us 9.9 .9. so I will add half inch seam allowance to make it 10 inches so from here to here is 10 inches I will move the the tape downward and I also measure 10 inches I will mark I will mark and uh, I will use my ruler or measuring stick to align it I will align it to the straight As you can see, the armhole point, I will yet come to the neck area, but let me mark out the armhole point. The armhole point, how do we determine the armhole point? We will divide the shoulder by two and subtract one inch from it. So the shoulder divided by two will give us nine and a half which is 19 divided by 2 will give us nine and a half and if we subtract one inch from the nine and a half it will give us eight and a half so i'm going to mark eight and a half meanwhile the joining at the the upper side you have to remove half inch same allowance or sewing allowance here and also half inch sewing allowance here so I will remove the half inch. These are the half inch. So in another one. So I will place my French curve. I place my French curve. But before then, let me take the measurement of the eight and a half or eight point five. So this is the measurement of the eight point five. I give a mark for chalk. 
to that 8.5 so that's where our ammo will lie so and uh, we will also remove about one inch on this area this is the the point connecting to the sleeve we remove one inch what is the reason of removing this one inch to avoid the folding at the chest area with the sleeve to avoid the folding or the wrinkle that will be there so that is why we are removing this one inch you place your french off in this way you can see the this is the place i remove the one inch you place it to that point that i remove the one inch and you will mark you draw follow the french curve So you can see how it is. This is it. So the I'm going to mark out the the neck of the of Christian Father's wear. The neck of the Christian Father's wear. We are almost through with this course. Uh, after the neck, what we now consider again is the is the chest and the tummy. Please don't go anywhere. This place are uh, important for you to watch and remember what we are doing is cutting and sewing of the christian father's wear so we mark three inches from here this is the color the neck area we mark three inches and we bring it down to the front of the wear So we will pick the first one, the front of the Christian Fathers, we have picked the front, this is the front and this is the back, we just pick only the front and we cut it out, we cut it out, the, the place we mark our chop, so I'm done with the cutting of the front, I will now cut the back, also following the chop, which I have already marked. This is how it is. This is how it is. So I'm done with the cutting, drafting and cutting of the neck of this Christian father's wear. The next thing I'm going to consider now is the chest. The chest measurement. I say the chest measurement is 44 inches, and 44 divided by 4 will give us 11 inches. To give us 11. So this uh, 11 inches, I mark 11 inches, I add 1 inch to it, I will bring it down, the tummy area is 42.5 inches, 42.5 inches, when we divide 42 into 2, it will give us 10 and a half. So, the remaining will be 10, approximately 10 per quarter. That is 10.7, 10 10.75. So this is where it is, we will mark it. I'll add one inch, which is the sewing allowance or seam allowance. We bring the tape down to the bottom area. We bring it to the bottom area and we will mark we mark 40 45 inches which is 11.25 or 11 one quarter so the 45 divided by 4 will give us 11.25 so we mark 11.25 and uh, we add one inch to it so we're going to join this line. We're going to join this line, this mark of chalk here, join it to connect it together. So this is how it's going to look like. Let me join it. I also join this.
so first of all before i cut i have to cut out this excess at the bottom so that the back and the front will be equal remember we shifted the the, the front side downward so the excess at the bottom area i'm going to cut it out So you can see that both of them are now equal. So I'm going to start cutting out the body of the Christian father's wear. I'm done with the cutting. The next thing I will cut now is the sleeve of this wheel. I will mark the sleeve first. I will draft it out, and after the sleeve, I will now cut it out. So the sleeve, we say that the sleeve is 10 inches. The sleeve length is 10 inches and the round sleeve is 14 inches so this is we mark 10 inches here we add half inch seam allowance at the top side and we add two and a half inches the folding allowance this one two and 13 is the two and a half inches for the folding allowance so we mark 13 we connect those points we connect those points with our ruler to have a straight line i bring my french curve i place my french curve this way for the armhole point remember that the that the round sleeve is 14 inches we mark 14 inches here we add one inch for the seam allowance we're going to join it So I will cut it out. So this is the sleeve. The last but not the least thing to do now is that I'm going to cut out the back piece. That is what I'm going to cut out the back piece or the back facing. So uh, we cut it out from this point. Know that the the back piece of the the the, the back piece of the Christian fathers we are 
or doesn't go straight it has a curve on it So this is the back piece we are going to be using for this wheel and then we are done with the cutting of the Christian Father's wheel. The next thing we are going to do now is to proceed immediately for the sewing. Please, I would like you to join me as we sew together. Thank you.